Warning. Before starting the installation, make sure that there is no voltage on the connection cables. Activities related to installation, connection and adjustment should be performed by a qualified electrician who has read the operating instructions and the functions of the device. PZM20, the flooding relay is for detecting the presence of conductive liquids. Levels of liquid detection are same as probe installed levels. The device can be used to start different devices, mainly pumps, which depend of the liquid level. PZM20 works with SZH01 and SZH03 probes provided by XAML. Probe sensitivity level can be set in the range of 1 to 190 kilo ohms by front panel potentiometer. The device output has three relays with a maximum contact load of 16 amps. The use of NO and NC changeover contacts increases the application area of the PZM20 relay. Current status of the outputs is indicated by red LEDs, PK1, PK2 and PK3. Green LED signalizes the presence of 230 VAC supply voltage. The PZM20 relay is for installation in switch gears on the TH35 rail. It is a three module housing. Power terminals, L and N are to connect the 230 volts AC power supply. Terminals S1, S2 and S3 are to connect three monitoring probes. The three NO and NC output relays work independently of each other. The status of the output is given by red LEDs. Put the PZM20 relay on the TH35 rail. Spring clips will be helpful. After installation, the device occupies three modules. Power cables connection. Connect the phase wire to the L-terminal. Connect the neutral wire to the N-terminal. A siren is connected to the output of the device. The signaling device will be ELKMO 440. The device is mounted on a TH35 rail. Transfer the phase wire to the input terminals of the relays. This are terminals 21, 11, and 31.
The neutral wire goes to the end terminal of the power indicator LKM0440. The relay outputs, that is, terminals 14, 24 and 34, will be connected to the inputs of the receiver supply phase marked as L1, L2 and L3. These outputs can for example, supply power to pumps, alarm systems or other automation components. Connection of probes. The probes are connected respectively to terminals S1, S2 and S3. More than one probe can be connected to a single input through a two-wire solution. It is therefore possible to connect the probes in parallel and in series. Connect the wires of the first probe to terminal S1. The connection of parallel probes forces the relay to operate in the event of flooding of any of the probes. The connection of the serial probes forces the relay to operate in the event of simultaneous flooding of all probes. We provide the power supply voltage. After supplying power, the green LED will illuminate with continuous light. The system performs automatic liquid detection. After detecting flooding of a given probe, the device starts the output relay. It gives the voltage to the automation controlling the liquid level or alarm. The first sensor is flooded. The first relay started and gave signal to the LKM0440 receiver. The second sensor is flooded. The third sensor is flooded. The diagram shows the automatic liquid level control system. When the liquid reaches the probe level S2, 
it is a bottom probe, the solenoid valve will open, allowing liquid to flow out of the tank. In the case of excessive increase of the liquid level, the alarm triggered by the, the second flooded probe will be activated, this is the S3 probe. 